New and I'm we're learning more about a horrific crash in Kingman that killed two teens and hurt three others. It happened last Thursday south of I-40 on the east side of town. Fox 10's Stephanie Bennett is joining us live now with the details. Steph. Good evening, guys. This is just a horrific, horrific crash. This came two weeks before prom and just six weeks before graduation. Tonight, the town, it's very close-knit and it is grieving, but they are leaning on one another during this dark time. In fact, today, many businesses, other schools, and also the local hospital wore their school colors, red and black, to honor them. These five lives have touched many, many lives of people in Kingman, for sure. The Kingman Unified School District posting on social media, identifying the names of their students involved in last week's horrific car crash. Two girls, 17-year-old Tatum Mines and 15-year-old freshman Shireen Walima died in the crash. Brady Shuffler, Riley File and Cannon Kobanovich were taken to the hospital in Las Vegas. Students returning to class this week will have an opportunity to speak with counselors. We allowed time for students and space for students to take a break, take a minute, go find a resource if that's what they need or just have a minute alone to sit in their thoughts. It all happened just before 10 p.m. Thursday night off Louise Avenue. Kingman police say the four-door Dodge sedan started sliding sideways when it struck two electric poles, causing the car to roll several times before stopping on its roof. Police say speed was a factor. All four passengers were ejected and the driver was trapped inside. But it's really special to be in a community that's tight-knit like Kingman at this time. It's definitely had a huge impact on our entire community as well as our students here at Lee Williams High School. We have definitely felt the love from our community. Family friend Devin Cutshaw created a GoFundMe fundraising for those involved in this crash. I mean we're just kind of connected to all their families in one way or another. Um, we know all of them so uh, yeah. when you're sitting there feeling helpless you just want to help and do something and I thought if I at least spearheaded the GoFundMe all these families would get a little bit of this. The prom date has been pushed back. It will be delayed and student council say all the sales from ticket prices to that will be going towards the victims families. Now also local business in town. They are also doing their part making t-shirts and also having bake sales as well. Reporting live tonight Stephanie Bennett Fox 10 News.